What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here for another Baddies ATL review. Season 1, Episode 3 Sit Down or Throw Down. Alright, you guys. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Stop taking me out on dates and not paying for my dinner. Hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's get into Baddies, you guys. Still confused about this. Alright, guys. So, I said the show, I'm confused about the show. The show is confused about itself as well. I don't think this show know what's, what it wants to be. So, I did notice in the in the intro, you know, when they show the producer credits, show the credits of who all is a producer, executive producer and all that stuff. I did notice that Sarah and Christina are both producers. Okay. Speaking of Sarah, that tongue ring, it's an interesting looking tongue ring. I've never saw one like that before. Her face, less is more Sarah. Just saying. So this episode picks up with Tanisha and Sarah. Now Sarah is so confused, which I was kind of confused too. Because if you actually go back and remember, go back and rewatch, well actually you can't unless you bought them. But if you go back, well you can look on YouTube. If you go back and look at some of the reunions that Tanisha's hosted, where Sarah was there, she definitely said that she liked Sarah. Season 11, she said she liked Sarah. I didn't watch Redemption, so I can't tell you guys if she said she enjoyed Sarah that season. I don't know. I don't remember All-Star Battle reunions, but whatever. So Sarah's confused, as am I. So eventually, Tanisha and Natalie sat down and had a conversation with each other. Then Christina brought her ass in there. Christina, you was on something. We'll talk about that a little later, but Christina was on something. So then Tanisha and Natalie discuss where their whole issue started from, which, like I said, and I think in the first episode review, from what I can recall, the issue between Tanisha and Natalie started with that OnlyFans shit. But eventually they apologized to each other, but then they just kept talking 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 you said this you said that you said this you talked about my son you talked about my daughter you talked about my fiance you talked about my husband you talked about this you talked about that you call me fat i ain't call you fat you said fat <laughs> you said fat niggas wouldn't want to see my fat ass on only fans it went back and forth i was confused <clears throat> now the thing with tanisha and natalie and actually all of these ladies we all in our 30s because y'all because tanisha and natalie are the oldest two i believe along with Sarah. I believe Tanisha, Natalie, and Sarah are all on the cusp of 40. I think Natalie is 38. I think Tanisha is 37 or something like that, or either Tanisha is 30, or either Natalie is 37 and Tanisha is 36. Either way go, they're in their 30s. And y'all up here fighting, I'm, I'm like, I know y'all, I know y'all asses be aching because shit, I be aching when I wake up some days. But yep, I know y'all bodies ache. So, this whole thing with Tanisha and Natalie, it, to me, it just seems as if this is scripted. Like, this is worse than love and hip-hop to me. Like, we talk about Mona with the scripted shit. This shit is scripted. So then Natalie and Tanisha talk about what direction to take the show in. I'm like, okay, so it wasn't just me. I, okay, so I won't, I won't lose my mind. This show has no direction because they're talking about weight loss. they talking about giving away, make, doing makeovers and giving away wigs. they talking about doing all this kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, so I was correct. This show literally has no damn direction. Do I want crazy? Oh, God. Let's pause here and move. All right, you guys. So Sarah went into Judy and Sydney's room. Judy didn't want the cameras in her room because her makeup wasn't done. I'm like, but your makeup wasn't done when you were sitting at the table. But that didn't stop you then. So then her and Sydney get into it with each other. I'm like, what the fuck? It has been three episodes at this point. And Sydney and, and Judy have argued each episode so far. As much as Judy tried to say, is Sydney coming at her on, when the cameras show up? It's you too. You playing into it, so it's both of y'all. It is both of you guys. And then Judy was talking about she's on E. I'm like, on E doing what? 
do anybody really still watch E? No shade to E, because I mean, I'm, I'm, have I? <clears throat> nope, I don't think I've ever watched. Any, have I watched anything on E? I probably have. I probably have. Oh yeah, I did watch something on E. I used to watch Chelsea Handler. <clears throat> she used to come on E, didn't she? Yeah, I used to watch Chelsea Handler every night when she was on. I think she was on E. I'm almost positive she was on E. That's the one thing I can think of from E that I watched. Because I've never watched the Kardashians. I've never watched any of the spinoffs. Courtney and, was, has it been Courtney and Kim and Courtney and Chloe? Yeah, I've never watched any of those spinoffs. Kardashians were never my thing. But yeah, like I said, Judy and this girl have been arguing for three freaking episodes at this point. For nothing. Over nothing. <clears throat> All right. Um, all right, Christina. Christina was definitely on something. So Sydney was in Christina's room and she was talking to Christina. So Christina at this point. All right, you guys. So yeah, I'm not even using my notes at this point. <clears throat> like the episode, it's just a bunch of... <clears throat> it's worse than Bad Girls Club. Like I said before, at least with Bad Girls Club, Bad Girls Club, you knew what you were getting. They were putting those young girls in a house. Filling them up with alcohol, sending them to the clubs to get more alcohol, having them come home, pick fights with each other, and sometimes the producers would be in those girls' ears to start the fights. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. So the next morning, Janelle and Seven, they're outside, they're talking to each other, they're trying to make sense of what doesn't make sense, which was that situation between Christina and Natalie, which makes no sense arguing about makeup so then Christina comes out and Christina's trying to explain to them what happened she was like you know what I wasn't really in my right mind and Christina's trying to say that she was drunk I'm like me and Janelle both said nah you weren't just you were drunk all right but it was something else on top of that you look like you were possessed by the devil you look like you was on some kind of drug some mind altering drug you know meth crack cocaine something I don't know but Christina was on something I'm not gonna say what she was on because I don't know what she was on but she was on something and she was on one so she was talking about the fact that you know Natalie is a person who's all about her who has a huge ego true Natalie does have a huge ego and Christina was arguing with Natalie and she's like I was really arguing with her about makeup she says, if I was in my right mind, I would not have argued with Natalie about makeup. It was so stupid. And she's like, but I've used Natalie's hair and makeup people before, so I didn't think that this time was any different. Well, you could have asked. You could have easily just said, hey. But she did say that she asked, you know, when you're done with Natalie, can you touch, can you do my makeup? So then I'm like, well, where in the hell did the disconnect come in? I'm like, okay, just gots to be I can't even say a storyline because y'all don't have any storylines y'all literally don't have any storylines whatsoever so I, I don't know what the fuck is going on so Christina not Christina but Janelle and Seven they both said that they want Christina to have a sit down with Natalie and squash the beef speaking of Janelle Janelle's face. Janelle has done something. Has she got her nose done? She's got her. Look like she may have got her nose done, some fillers, and her lips. Cause Janelle didn't look like that on her original season of Bad Girls Club, and it looked like she got her hips done too. Janelle's face just kind of looks like a cat, just a little bit, just a little bit. Like I thought Janelle when she was on Bad Girls Club, her season beautiful girl still beautiful but you can definitely tell she's at work done but that's no shade to her um so Janelle goes and talks to Natalie they talked about Christina they talked about Tanisha they talked about I don't know what else they just talked so Janelle told Natalie that she talked to Christina and Christina wants to sit and talk to Natalie is Natalie cool with that I guess Natalie's cool with it, so Natalie and Christina go sit down with each other. This conversation with Natalie and Christina. Absolutely ridiculous and stupid at this point. 
So Natalie is sitting and having a conversation with Christina. And Christina's like, uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And Natalie's like, see, I'm not going to deal with that bullshit, Christina. That's that sarcastic shit I don't, I, that I don't like. I was as dumbfounded as Christina was. What sarcastic shit? The fact that she said, okay. Yeah. Then they got into a whole argument with each other. And they were just going back and forth with each other. So, <clears throat> Christina don't like the way Natalie is coming at her. Natalie don't like that Christina's being sarcastic, which I didn't catch the sarcasm. Maybe I missed it. But that was it. They got in, you know, Natalie hopped up and Christina hopped up. And <laughs> now they about to fight again. And that's actually where the episode left off. How many episodes is it of this show? Please say it's eight. I can only give you eight. I think I can only give eight. I really think I can. But that's it, you guys. Like this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. I sit there very fast. Like this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Share this video. And until the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not, whichever one you choose to do, be safe in doing so and stay blessed, you guys. And I will catch you guys for the next one. And I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day. Bye, guys.